Welcome back to Photorec.tv. I'm Toby, and you have a chance to win one of the tripods that I'm going to be reviewing in this video. Stay tuned to the end. I want to take you back to last fall when I decided that I'm done making compromises on tripods. Although I travel often and do need a travel-friendly tripod, I'm no longer willing to sacrifice max height to get there. There was a composition that I wanted that was only possible with a taller tripod. You see, I wanted separation between this foreground grass and the reflection of Mount Shuxin. And this wasn't the first time in the last few years that I've been frustrated with my tripod height, but I've been feeling greedy. I want that height without the weight. And you see, a few extra inches when folded down is usually no big deal, but an extra pound or two when I'm hiking, yeah, that's really no fun. Luckily, I found tripods that don't require this compromise anymore. Let's start with what I look for in a tripod. Obviously, a stable platform for my camera, but less obviously, it needs to be stable even at its max height, which for me, I'm 5'10", and eye level is where I'd like max height to be at least, so subtracting my giant forehead, eye level is a little bit shorter. Now, it does need to remain somewhat packable, lightweight, underlined multiple times, and of course, quality construction that feels like it's gonna last, and, this is one that a lot of people overlook. A company that's gonna stand behind or buy their products. If something goes wrong, I've got recourse for repair or replacement. After lots of searching and recommendation from trusted photographers, I've decided on a tripod. I actually have two tripods here. The FLM CP30 L4 II. It's a 10X carbon fiber series tripod from FLM. And the smaller CP30 S4 that I think makes more sense for many of you watching. And this is the tripod that you have a chance to win. Let's dive right into the specs of the CP30 S4. It reaches a max height of 53.38 inches, 135 centimeters. A minimum height with the legs ratcheted all the way out of just 3.6 inches, nine centimeters. Folds down to just 18.8 inches, 48 centimeters, and weighs under three pounds. 2.9 pounds or 1.3 kilograms. The load capacity is 44 pounds or 20 kilograms and the price 459, though you can find it slightly discounted at times. Now for many of you, this is going to be about eye level at max height. And as I said, it remains a very stable tripod at this height. Actually, I didn't say that. I said that was important to me and that's what I found with these tripods. I feel confident in saying that for the price, the height, weight, and stability offered by this tripod is currently the best. But like everything, there are some trade-offs. I want you to notice that both of these FLM tripods are without a center column. While center columns aren't great for stability, they do make it very easy to make minor height adjustments. Another benefit of no center column is the more compact folded profile. But if you are a studio photographer or someone who finds themselves often making small height adjustments, you probably do want to consider something with a center column. No, I mean, it is possible to make small adjustments with each leg, but that is certainly more time consuming than quickly inching up or down a center column. Now, another downside of a no center column, depending on the head you use, Vertical shots without an L bracket might be more difficult. So the easy answer is get an L bracket. Seriously, even if you have a center column, L brackets are the absolute best, allowing for easy horizontal to vertical switching without recomposing the shot. FLM does sell L brackets, but I recommend you find one designed for your camera. Small Rig, Kirk, those are two manufacturers that offer a large range of L brackets for different cameras. I'm happy to recommend. But I got two more drawbacks to these FLM tripods that I'm going to get to after sharing the specs of the tripod that I bought. The FLM CP30 L4. That L stands for the longer leg style. It reaches a max height of 68.3 inches. Same minimum height of 3.6 inches, 9.1 centimeters. That is, of course, without a ball head sitting on it. The folded height is larger at 23 inches, 58 centimeters, and it weighs 3.1 pounds or 1.4 kilograms and does offer the same load capacity as the CP30 S4, 44 pounds or 20 kilograms. 
The price is 505, though again, you can find it slightly discounted at times. So this tripod doesn't get quite as compact as the S4, but it offers a max height of 68 inches and it's stable at that height. Oh, so nice. Now I've been using the CP30 L4 for a few months and I'm very happy with the stability at all of the heights, including the max. And this is something to really watch for when tripod shopping. If the tripod offers a center column, it's not gonna be nearly as stable at max height. And see if you can discern the diameter of the smallest legs when tripod shopping. Many times they are tent pole thin. So also not very stable or much more prone to vibration. So when you look at the max height listed, you need to be realistic about probably not comfortably hitting that full height with most of the cheaper tripods. Now, the other drawbacks I mentioned, well, the twist lock legs are metal. Usually they're rubbery. And so that lends themselves to feeling a little bit less grippy, but being metal, they do feel like they're gonna last really well without any aging or cracking. Also, underneath the apex, you have the smallest little hook. It's actually just an eyelet. So if you're somebody who likes to hang a bag there for additional weight and stability in windy conditions, you're going to need to rig up some kind of cord and carabiner system because you can't just hook your bag handle on that. It is tiny. It's almost like a needle eyelet. But that's really all I can come up with as negatives. Overall, the construction, the single push leg locks, the quality of this apex piece, the smoothness you experience when you adjust the length all points to quality with a capital Q. And both tripods do come with steel spikes that you can swap out for the rubber feet and a toolkit that allows you to make adjustments and tighten the legs if needed. Look, you can find cheaper tripods, but as I said earlier, I feel you're not gonna find any in this price range that offers the height, weight, and quality here. You can certainly buy a cheaper tripod, but you are likely to experience build quality issues, or if something does breaks, no support, and you're gonna be more likely replacing that tripod in a few years, or worse, you're missing shots because your tripod isn't stable at the heights that you had hoped it would be. And again, you're replacing it and ending up spending more than if you had just bought a good tripod, FLM, up front. As I mentioned in the opening, you can win the CP30 S4. It's part of an awesome Mongolia photography adventure giveaway, valued at over 10,000 US dollars. Yes, you heard me right. It is a fantastic opportunity for somebody. All of the details are at photorec.tv slash contest. Being part of these giveaways is one of the coolest things that I get to do as part of this channel. You can find that link right down below this video. You can also find a link down below my complete tripod guide, which includes some recommended heads that pair nicely with these legs and some more affordable tripods if you don't need them, don't need them to get quite as tall. If you found this video helpful, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe along with clicking that little bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to between videos. Bye-bye.